Are you looking for some new places to travel and explore? Well, TV host Darlie Newman is on a revolutionary road trip filming at sites related to the American Revolution across the East Coast. These are places that you and your family can visit to relive and learn about the past. And she's documenting this through her Travels with Darlie series on PBS and her new podcast. She also has an event here in D.C. tonight with Smithsonian Associates. But Darlie's with us here first. Good morning. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. It's so great season to be here. 11 of Travels with Darlie. Congratulations. So many travels. Yes, I'm You've definitely seeing the world. Yes. So why did you decide to go revolutionary this time? Yeah, so 2026 is the 250th commemorations of the founding of America. So we decided we're going to go around and hit those historic sites that travelers can visit to relive this history and discover mm -hmm. it anew. Mm -hmm. Did That's you learn things along the way? I'm I sure. am learning so much. There are so, <laughs> there are so many lesser known and untold stories out there. I mean, we are diving into the archives in New Jersey and going to museums and living history sites and people are really mm -hmm. uncovering archaeology and, and new discoveries about our past all the time. Wow. Wow. It, it's so amazing and so much of it is so close to us yes. here which is yeah. wonderful. So much of it is right outside of our nation's capital in our nation's capital yeah. all along the east coast so you can travel mm -hmm. from Rhode Island down to South Carolina and beyond Perfect. and, and mm -hmm. have great adventures. Mm -hmm. Alright let's get to some of those not to miss sites. Mm -hmm. What do you suggest? So we've been out filming this so we have video. <laughs> the Prince William Forest Park right outside of our nation's capital, you can walk on portions of the trail, the Washington Rochambeau National Historical Trail, that the French troops and George Washington's troops took going down to Yorktown. So really interesting. This park is also cool because you can stay in cabins that future spies stayed in during World Ooh. War II. They closed Jeez. the park and they had spies training there, the precursor to the CIA. So that's pretty, pretty remarkable. Interesting. I hear so many musical, Hamilton musical Hamilton references there. I heard you reference it in yeah. the <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Camden, South Carolina is another not to miss spot. Mm -hmm. I'm from South Carolina. I there grew up go. there. I love my home state. Yeah. But if you go inland, this is another hot spot during the American Revolution. Great for families. There's a new Revolutionary War Center. There's a, a living history park. You can go inside what would be like old colonial taverns and homes. Mm. And we filmed at all these sites and kind of captured this for the series. All right, yeah. let's talk about some hidden gems, lesser known places. Wow, there's so many great. The Skylar Hamilton there's House. Hamilton. I love. <laughs> you wanted <Again>. Hamilton. <laughs> you know, Alexander Hamilton was all over the place during the American <laughs> Revolution. This is a really well restored home in Morristown, cool. New Jersey, not far out of side of New York City and there are reenactors and living history moments there that you can share and again very family friendly and Morristown mm -hmm. is super cute there's a national park site there with history as well like you have the reenactment people are dressed up so you can talk to them like you can you're talk back in the to time. them yeah. they really bring you back in time and right now we're seeing footage from Charleston South Carolina another mm -hmm. city that I love great for food as we all know oh, yes <laughs> but if you're walking in Charleston you may be downtown and you'll see something called this like little piece of cement that's in the middle of the Francis Marion Park. It's actually the remnant of a 10 acre Revolutionary War fortress. Oh, wow. So hmm. people walk by all the time. It's a hidden gem that they wouldn't know about. Yeah. Wow. I think about the cannons and stuff that are down there, but I don't think about mm -hmm. that. All right, you mentioned food. food. Charleston, what's some good food spots? So Charleston, South Carolina, there's a James Beard Award nominated chef at the grocery. His name is Kevin Ooh. Johnson. He is cooking up Revolutionary War inspired foods, colonial dishes with heirloom ingredients, Carolina gold rice. Mm. It is so tasty. You need to make a reservation, but you can oh, trace wow. that history of the rice over at the city market. And then I would say Princeton, New Jersey, again, there is a Revolutionary War battle there. There's a state park, but you can combine really good food and drinks at this place called the Peacock Inn. Mm. And there's colonial history, Revolutionary War history as members of the Continental Congress were there, but people also like Einstein and F. Scott Fitzgerald over there God. so lots of this great places really cool. yeah it's really fun to trace that <laughs> yeah what do you, you have an event tonight at the Smithsonian I do we're, we're um, at the Ripley Center you can still get tickets by going to darley-newman.com and I'm presenting with a panel a lot of in-depth travel tips of where you can mm -hmm. go to relive this history we also have a reception afterwards with really great food and drinks <laughs> Laird's Applejack it's a, there you uh, go. the oldest family of it's distillers the so. we need Darley yeah, always gives you, good travel advice too. <laughs> you can join Darlie with Smithsonian Associates tonight at the Ripley Center Auditorium and watch for her Travels with Darlie PBS episodes on your local station as well as on streaming networks and through her new Travels with mm -hmm. Darlie podcast. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.